Well, more than just back to school, are sending those little ones and even the bigger ones off to school to our inland schools. That's what we're talking about this morning. Beautiful lunches there. Thanks so much, Claire and Ewan. But this morning, we've got two moms in our studio. The one is a photographer, Nicole, and then also next to her, Claire, who has one of the most popular blogs out there when it comes to mums. But welcome to both of you. Thank you. We're talking school bags specifically. I mean, what are the trends out there for school kids in terms of school bags? And now I'm particularly talking about size, colour and even utility. It very much comes down to the age of your kids. You know, the young kids, they like their cartoons like this Hello Kitty or Batman or Spider-Man. And then as they get older, it comes very much dependent on the school requirements. Some uh, schools are particular about color. And if they have lots of subjects, then it's good to have the um, separator, the slots mm. for your books. Um, what else? I think, yeah, you basically covered it all. You've got to definitely consider with the trends what your child needs. So mm -hmm. if you're, for example, my son is in preschool, he needs backup clothes, space for nappies and water bottles, right, but right. a child in high school definitely doesn't no. ne necessarily need that because they need more space for their books. I like how you, you, you pointed out that it's, you know, age specific before we get to trends almost. And Very I much. think my biggest concern is back support you know what do we how important is back support does it really have such a big influence you know how do we get around that back support is very 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 important mm. i mean when with these backpacks with the two these must ideally be put on both shoulders Together. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. otherwise yeah. you can cause um i know that from my school just mm. carrying on on one shoulder so it's about educating your kids to to wear their backpacks correctly and if it's too heavy then they can fall downstairs if they're not careful and yeah, it can get... It. What about a replacement? I mean, I see that one of our models has got a, a trolley bag that is on wheels, so that probably helps as well. Yeah. It does, but some schools actually have issues because it, it could cause some of the children to, to stumble and okay. to fall. In the hall as well. But, I mean, if, if your school allows it, I think it's the best option. Mm. It's healthy mm. and it allows them to not have the strain. Yeah, on their backs because exactly. it is on wheels. What about affordability? I mean, it is the first day of school for our inlands and it, there are kids that are going to school where parents can't necessarily afford to send a second grader to school with brand new school bags and a pencil bag and things. What to do? Well, if you have access to the internet, you have access to Pinterest and Google, and there are so many DIY tutorials out there. Uh, we just saw one the other day on, on taking your jeans, know. you know, your, your butt, and you <laughs> pull it up. Right, and right, you right. So you take the back side and <laughs> yeah. you, you cut the legs off exactly. and make a school bag. Yeah. And what's very nice, they actually provide some of the patterns, so then you can actually cut and have the measurements, and it's, it's quite easy, even okay. drawstring bags is yeah. also and I very I guess you can do it easy. as a craft with your child. Absolutely. You don't have to do it Great. Right. Yeah. One on one with your kid. What about adding a special touch? I'm thinking now, uh, the one thing about school, the, the kid comes home with the wrong bag. Because no, no. how do you find a school bag in a sea of other green bags that are, are there? How do you make sure that it stands up? What about labelling? It depends on affordability. Some parents might not have access to a label machine to print something crafty. So you can actually get those Tipex pen mm. and draw something or even the little glitter glue. You know, right, right, right. girls love glitter so they can do flowers or hearts. The stick on labels you can do nowadays. The girls are loving the loom bands at the moment. Okay. So they could do their own little loom band and tie it on. Uh, little pom poms. Pom poms, key rings. You know, look, you get colourful carabiners now. So cute. It's a great creative, and it doesn't, it doesn't have to be expensive. I, I remember my dad tying a cellophane ribbon to my bag, and <laughs> it wasn't very glamorous, but <laughs> it worked at the time so that we could spot it. This is exciting. Listen, you're making back to school really, really exciting. So Fun. thank you so much, Nicole, and thank you so much, Claire, for, for coming to share this with us. Going back to school and just some of the ideas that we have in terms of lunches, as you heard earlier, and also some school bags. So all the best and happy first day of school. Thank you. Well, there's more to first day of school than just all of this. In fact, it's one of the things that we're highlighting on the show today. Graham's got more.